Hello, hello everyone, this is the Algerian General and welcome into episode 4 of the Modding Bootcamp. Today we're going to take a look into something very, very interesting. We're going to take a look at how you can mod and make your own focus trees. Not only using Notepad this time. We're going to learn about this new software, this new third-party software called the Focus Tree Manager. So, I'll be putting a link to that in the description. In addition to another tool that I cannot really access at the moment, which is a um, similar tool, but it's simply on a browser. So, we're first of all going to start by launching the Focus Tree Manager. Now, before I launch it, there is something I need to tell, let you know about. This tool is quite experimental. It is highly unstable. So, here's what I did, at least, to get it to, um, well a somewhat stable stance. What I did was I went to compatibility, set it to Windows 7 and run this program as an administrator. And Of course you just double click on it, you gotta click on yes and what I mostly use this tool for is the creation and editing of the structure of the focus tree, so the position of the focus trees and so on. So this is what you will actually get at first, I'm gonna create a new project uh, file name, this allows you of course to save it somewhere, I'm just going to save it here in my C drive, I'm gonna call it test, save, uh, of course you give it a name, default, colorization file, don't really need that one, uh, mods folders to load in addition to the game, uh, basically your mod folder, and accept. So here you can see you can edit localization, events, I'm not really sure about generic scripts as I've never gotten into those, and obviously focus tree. So you just right click, new file, uh, new file, focus tree, I'm gonna give it a name, um, let's go with USA, country tag is also gonna be USA, and this is not something we're gonna mess with, and here we go. Now you have to double click on it and then click on it here. So this is the focus tree. If you want to add new focuses, you just right click on the interface here. And you can, well, add a new focus. And here of course you can give it a unique ID. So I, what I usually have to do is, you know, country tag underscore the event or the decision. In this case, we're gonna have USA underscore new deal. And um, here, of course, you can change the icon used by the focus. Hmm. Since it's the new deal, I'll just use this one. This is, of course, where you select the cost in days, or how many days this thing is going to take. It's multiplied by 7, so if I set it here to 10, it means that this focus is going to take 70 days. 20, that means 140 days, and so on. You keep it with the standard 10, and accept. Now, you can, of course, add new focuses. Uh, USA, second deal, right? Uh, these are basically just examples. I'm going to use them just to show you the functionality here. The deal. So let's say I want to make these two focuses exclusive, mutually exclusive. You just right click, make focus mutually exclusive with, and you click on the other one. These two now are mutually exclusive. If I want to make this focus require this one, I can just right click, add a required pre request and prerequisites, and here, there you go. Uh, let's say I want to make this focus accessible if I have this or this. So optional prerequisites. Uh, just click and then again, here you go. You can of course move things around, you can draw a box and move things around. Um, honestly, this is quite simple stuff. Um, but now you must be wondering, how do I add triggers, how do I add bypasses, how I do I add these things? Well, you see, you just go to edit ex uh, internal script and this is where you can edit it. You can add um, what we call complete reward, but you know, I don't really like doing this here simply because of how unstable this tool is. 
at the moment. So if you want to save things, you can just save it. So Control S or just try to exit and you click save. But that's not gonna save the files. To save the files, you just click on export, and you can select a certain folder to export the file to. In this case, desktop. Which means I'm gonna I'm not really going to save it since I don't really need this project. But Essentially, what I did is creating the stuff right here. So you can see the dot uh, here. You just go to USA, and here's my focus tree. Now, you guys must be wondering how do you add effects? How do you add triggers? How do those actually work, and so on? Well, we're going to be mainly taking a look into the vanilla files for reference. We're going to take into maybe the communist China focus tree, and now. Let's get it started. First and foremost, you have the available. So, new deal, right? Here, it only accepts triggers. Well, basically, these are the triggers. If these triggers are met, then this focus right here is available. It's kind of like Anschluss. You can only do Anschluss if you have 500,000 men. So, if I want to do the same thing, his uh, has manpower greater than four. Well, there you go. Right? Simple stuff. That's the available part. Bypass. Now, bypass isn't really used on every focuses, but I'll just say that Germany has the focus, which is Anschluss. Anschluss is actually a perfect focus simply because it contains almost all these uh, kinds of syntax, shall we say. So, I'll bypass. If these triggers are met, if these conditions are met, I can just bypass that focus. So if Austro-Hungary has actually reformed, I can just bypass the Anschluss. Simple, isn't it? Now, uh, these, we're going to get into them in a second. Completion reward. Completion reward is actually an effect. An effect. No, sorry for that. So as it is an effect, that happens once the focus has been done. So in this case, when the focus is done, when 70 days have elapsed, I'm getting my 120 political power. Uh, keep in mind, as I've said before, you can add whatever effects, whatever triggers, whatsoever. Um, and then you have these little settings here that we're going to take a look at one by one. <laughs> Cancel if invalid equals yes. This means that if the triggers for this focus here are no longer met, kind of like the Anschluss, where if I don't have more than 500,000 men, this focus is cancelled. Until I have the conditions met again, I can retake that focus. Till then, the focus will be deleted. Continue if invalid, no. This mainly means that if this is invalid, and then of course it will cancel it, if I try to redo it again, it's not going to continue where I last left off. Available if capitulated. This means that this focus is not available if my country has capitulated. Well, that's all, technically. The icon and ID, these are both, as I've said, moddable inside the Focus Tree Manager. But if you want to do it the old way, using Notepad, this is basically the GFX entry for the icon. You can find all the icons that you want in GFX and you go to interface and goals. And here of course you can find all the icons that currently exist. Simple stuff. ID, just like any event or any decision, it's a unique name, a unique syntax for that focus. Um, again, these are quite simple stuff overall. So now, there's one last thing, which is AI will do. This is, again, we might be getting into this in more depth in possibly the next video, where we're going to deal with a bit more complex things, which is mainly editing and modding the AI's behavior. But here, this means that the focus will not, it's gonna, it's gonna have a factor of zero if I am at war with the Soviet Union. Uh, which makes perfect sense, as you could imagine. So I'm going to try to read some code, uh, some sort of um, training. So let's take this focus here, Maoism. Uh, Pre-request, 
this is the focus that's requ required. Uh, this is interesting, uh, simply because relative position. We're gonna get this into when we get to the next video, possibly. This is um, quite advanced stuff. Let's not get into it right now. It's available whenever. You cannot really bypass it. Cancel. This is the same stuff as last time. Completion. I get 10% more stability and it gives me the Maoism National Spirit. Simple stuff. Now we're going to get into something else. Something that's actually crucial in modding these focus trees. Now the focuses have IDs. So now you must be wondering how can I give these focuses names? Um, quite simple. We're going to be using Darkest R as an example. So first of all, we're going to check the new uh, Soviet focus tree that I have been working on. Um, well, not just me. Uh, the whole dev team has been working on it, but as you can see, none of these focuses have effects at the moment. This is actually an old version of the file, but um, let's say NKVD internal troops. I want to give this focus here a name. What you do is actually add an entry in the localization. So you go to localization. I have it under replace. You cannot have it there. It's all up to you. Here we go. DH focus. And you just add the ID and the name you want. Uh, very simple stuff. And uh, literally right now you're looking at some really sneak peek stuff or sneak peek content from the new Dr. Sour updates. Um, this is nowhere near being final. This is actually all old files at the moment. Most of these things have possibly been changed or expanded. Uh, but um, yeah, that was just a heads up. Yes, this is of course where you set the localization of your events, now of your focuses, sorry. If you want to add the description, you just do the same, which is the focus ID underscore desk. And this is of course the description for that focus. You may leave it empty if you want, just like I did here. Description is empty. Well, I believe that is going to be all for part one. Uh, I might make a part two about shared focuses, about the rel relative positioning, hiding focuses, and so on, uh, which are things that I myself are, well, I'm not really familiar to these concepts yet. Uh, I'm going to be doing some research on them and how they work. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find them quite useful uh, designing these focus trees that I'm working on at the moment. I would love to thank you guys for being with us today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel to get notifications whenever I make new content. Uh, it would also be amazing if you would join my Discord channel or my Discord, uh, Discord server. It allows you at least to reach me at a much easier way. If you have any questions about today's lesson, leave it in the comment section down below or send me a PM or leave it. Uh, as a message in the proper channel on my Discord server. That was Yelger in general. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers!